except that he wasn't, um, uh, you might say, he wasn't playing ball. With? With, with, uh, with the people that were asking him to keep cases out of, out of, out of court. And would you think specifically that that might well be the, the Minister for Justice? Well, I, I suppose it might well be. It might well be. Tonight, an investigation into allegations of political interference with the Gardaí in Roscommon. Good evening. Tonight, an investigative report on the ground in Roscommon into the allegations of improper ministerial interference with the Gardaí in the Minister's, Sean Doherty's, own constituency. The issue of an independent police authority is something various governments over the past ten years have flirted with but done nothing about. It would be a body which would guarantee the Gardaí freedom from political interference and ensure that standards were maintained within the force. Various developments within recent weeks, especially concerning promotions within the Garda Shirkona, have made this issue of a police authority once again a live issue. But political interference is a charge as old as politics, and many ministers have been accused of it. Where the Gardaí are concerned, little has ever been proved. Allegations of political interference have, for example, been made against the former coalition justice minister, Jim Mitchell, as well as against previous ministers for justice. Tonight we look at the relations between the Guards and their present minister, Sean Doherty, who is a native of Roscommon, a TD for Roscommon, and himself a former member of the Garda Shirkona. Pat Cox reports on a case study of allegations of political interference. 